Hey, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to give an update on the 1964 Chevy Impala. I've been doing a lot of work to this, getting a lot of progress done. Working on the brakes, working on the suspension. I uh, got the new power booster in, brake master cylinder, uh, A arms with the high energy suspension, drilled cross, drilled and slotted rotors, disc brakes, all high energy suspension parts throughout, new shocks. New ball joints, new bushings, tie rod ends, sway bar. A lot of the parts underneath are new. Just trying to give it a fresh modern ride. So it's getting there. It's coming right along. Next I'm putting these flaps here. These rubber flaps that go in the wheel well here help dirt and stuff stay out. I'm not sure how to attach those staples. So if you watch this, you know how to attach those. Let me know. I'm not sure if there's a special tool I need or or what. So anyway, that's uh, that's where we're at. Got to run the brake lines a little differently. This was drum brakes, and it's just it's one brake line comes down, tees for the front wheel, comes across, tees for the other front wheel, and then goes back to the rear. With the way this proportioning valve is set up on the new brakes, it's got two front outlets, this one here and this one here, and then the rear outlets here separate. Since this is a dual master cylinder and the original was single. And the kit didn't come with those lines. Usually it comes with those brake lines already bent, but it didn't, so I gotta order those still. Otherwise it's coming right along. Making a lot of progress on this thing. Okay, so that's the 64 Impala. Just wanted to do a quick update. Thanks for watching.